Locatify uses Bluetooth and GPS technology that allows developers to create indoor and outdoor location-based apps. Let's hear from the founders to find out how they're bringing Locatify to the world. Steinen Anna Gunnlaugsdóttir, I'm from a company called Locatify and we are an entrepreneur company in Iceland and we focus on technology. Um, we have been building platforms, platforms where customers can enter and create content for their apps and those apps are location based apps mostly and uh, we have created like a treasure hunt game app and a smart guided app and uh, combine those together as well, so it's, it's GPS connected, so you can go out there and then where you enter a place and get, get all kinds of information, and you can also be competing in a treasure hunt game, so it's a multiplayer treasure hunt game, and the smart guidance with pictures and audio, video, text, questions, challenges, and such for the, for the treasure hunt games, so the platform is, the CMS system is kind of a main focus because we other companies can enter the platform and create content for white label apps or they can use our apps in order to uh, kind of um, set their games or guides out there and that has been our focus mainly and then you can put all the pins for all kinds of information and, and everything you really want to put. Well, it has of course been ups and downs, where we have managed to stay afloat for four years and that's pretty good for a company that is just starting up because um, there's a lot to think about. This has been a long progress of um, development. We are, we're of course um, um, optimistic. We all, in order to be an entrepreneur, you need to be optimistic, but you kind of um, get into that loophole of uh, uh, thinking that it's going to take a shorter time than it really takes to, to do development. So we have kind of um, been struggling a bit with that, thinking that everything's going to be ready at this moment, but it's uh, delaying and of course it needs to be very well tested and we have, have kind of had to do that. Well, we have been shifting along the way. It's quite uh, different. Now our focus is like on the Blair solution a lot, but we keep the other things uh, in there, everything as well, because we have built a system around it. But um, uh, the idea that we came up with us many years ago was uh, we wanted to get stories out there, storytelling, um, and connect it with the, the hill or you go into an environment you want to get the story, what's behind it, where the environment comes alive when you know what happened here and what's going to happen. And uh, it is, uh, so we, we set out to do that, but of course we've been going off tracks and we have had to take on other projects in order to finance our, our things. So that has been a delay of what we really want to do. So we have been into other app uh, development as well, in order to keep afloat. Well, we have been um, developing this and of course we've been using Apple and Android environment and there's all kind of information online that we've been seeking and, and uh, we've getting, gotten help and adjustment from the um, Entrepreneur Association in Iceland. We're like in a place right now where where we don't pay a whole lot of in rent because it's a, a governmentally funded, and there's also a person that comes in and checks in on companies and kind of helps out in the ways that uh, they can. And that's been really good to have that um, assistance here. It's kind of, a, and then you get the connections of being around other entrepreneurs. And you can kind of get the information from them there and get new ideas and, and kind of um, it's all, also very good to kind of throw your ideas at someone and get some feedback and that's in this community that you can do that. Well we have these great products and product line 
and we now need to market market things really well because if we don't this is going to blow away so we are now in the phase of hiring a new marketing executive or salesperson and um, things are what we're creating are new this is new people need to kind of understand it and it often takes a while to kind of used, get used to what's going on or I mean when you create something new people need to kind of figure it out how can you use it how can I go with it but our main thing now is going over the, the take off thing because we want to get out there and get our words out there and, and really make an effort to do that. Probably because it's exciting. I like to create things. I like to see an idea come alive into a product. And, and I want to make some, some influences towards better world, if you could say like that. For me, I, I have been in, in media and I've also been in teaching and, and other areas and, and um, like what we've been doing for, for the treasure hunt games and the book system, then we are encouraging students and, uh, to create and I think that's really wonderful when you can create the tools for others to use in order to make something of their own. And like the school system that is today, gamification is starting to come in there slowly. But in order to create your own games, create your own tours, create your own kind of books, that's something that is interesting and gives you satisfaction and you can kind of go out and do something of like that. And I, I like the being out there, sensing people using our products and kind of helping them, uh, well, get the storytelling. Storytelling that's really life that keeps us going. And with this. So that's something that's really magnificent to see the products used and feel the reaction of the people that are using them. Well, we're honest. We put out things that are, we have tested well. We're giving them products that they need and they like and um, like for school teachers to have tools to get the students out there for, for students to get um, tools to create and play games and for for the tourist uh, in, um, tourist uh, executives and those who are uh, giving people guided tours and, and offering them tools to do that and um, it's kind of, we don't put anything out there that is fully tested. We want to, to do things that uh, we can be proud of. And so we put out apps that we like and have tested and people like. Well, it is to get something out there that, that, is, uh, that is worthwhile and it's something that's uh, that we are creating for other people and they are creating themselves. I think that's the thing that kind of inspires me. Well, it's kind of every people uh, are inspiring. Everything, everyone you meet that is positive and have ideas. And it's wonderful to see the other people here in Iceland. There are so many people that are getting their products out there. They're so creative. They, it's like a, we listen to ideas every day and people kind of go ahead and they fulfill their dreams, they go ahead and, and continue towards their goals and their vision. So it's, it's fun to be around people that are, that are thinking creatively and, and are not afraid of letting their dreams come true. I think that's really remarkable to do that. But of course, uh, it's me, it's I and my husband, we started this company out four years ago, when, um, right after the, the crisis in Iceland in 2009, and uh, we decided to do something of our own. To, to, he has, he's a great programmer, and um, I have a background in other things, and kind of put our strengths together and create this company. And um, so he inspires me, and I hopefully inspire him. 